Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Maggi the Priestess channel. This is your reading for February 2021, okay? So I'm going to definitely be checking in your energy to see what that energy would be like um, this month. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Maji. I'm a psychic medium, okay, an intuitive reader, and um, light worker, star seed. I'm all of that, okay. I'm definitely a healer, and um, I've created this channel for the purpose of bringing um, intuitive messages um, for the collective, okay. So please remember that this is a general reading and only take what resonates. Um, this reading resonates with you um please don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos so that it just um spreads to the algorithm of instagram well instagram i meant youtube so i don't know why i said instagram but i have already started the reading and i'm channeling something about instagram here i don't know what it is maybe something crazy happened in your instagram account no idea but before we start this reading, okay, I'm going to do a sound bowl here to clear the air, the air, okay, Cancer? Take that deep breath, okay? Perfect. Now let's see, Spirit, what can you tell us about my Cancerians for the month of February? What's going on with them? Let me settle in. I hope you guys are doing all right. Spirit, what can you tell us about cancer for the month of February? What is that energy like? Okay, we have the garden and the gate. Strategizing. Yeah, I just heard you guys are planning to move. Okay. Um, so yeah, in this month you may be strategizing, um, planning something here, planning to explore something. I'm seeing you are in hesitance, maybe a little tied up. There's an indecision, okay? You want to take action towards something, but you're indecisive about it. And I say that because if you notice, her hands are like, Close together, you know, which to me makes it seem like she's yet doesn't know for sure if she wants to choose this garden or this gate that she's in. And the gate obviously represents um, a place that you already know, your comfort zone that you're very comfortable in, right? And maybe you're not necessarily so sad in it, you know, but the garden represents this abundance this unknown, this transformative um, path that you can go to if you choose to, okay? And I feel like, you know, if the spirit is saying that you need to strategize this, okay? Or maybe you have already been strategizing how to or if you should make this move or this decision here. There's something that you are thinking about for sure. And you're uncertain about this, but you know that you are the key to unlocking this decision. You know that it is only for you to choose this decision and no one else. Okay, I'm seeing the number 33 here, so you could be seeing 333 a lot. Bottom of the deck, we have action. So, yeah. You're definitely thinking about taking action, going on a journey. See what I'm saying? You're definitely planning a move. I mean, look at this suitcase here. Okay, and it's just you and spirit with this number two. I feel like you're feeling very confident. You're not feeling really alone, even though it seems like you're alone because you're physically alone in this journey. You know, you're feeling in high spirits. You know that you're connected to your guides. That's the blue light, right? You feel this divine connection that you're feeling um, guided somewhere. I'm hearing, okay, you're feeling guided and you're very like. Um, you're feeling very energized to take action towards something here. Yeah, and this this is definitely for some of you. You could be traveling overseas. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, why is the garden and the gate here? Why is the garden and the gate here? We have blossoming abundance and a number three again. 
three 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 you guys may definitely be seeing that number a lot on the clock or um on cars just anywhere you look and it's interesting that it says blossoming abundance and then it has this fields of abundance there's a lot of green okay green resembles abundance it resembles the heart chakra so you're definitely receiving some type of abundance in february you're really blossoming and shining here after you make this decision to travel somewhere outside of your comfort zone okay but you need to let release um any anxieties or worries that you have and with this journaling log i feel like spirit is saying like um maybe like writing down your intentions will help you get this manifestation quicker if you're trying to manifest something here for others i am picking up that there's like this girl here who has been waiting for a message she's been writing to a lover and she you know, she's waiting to hear from him. This person is at a long distance from her. But there is definitely abundance coming towards you. What is the strategy here, Spirit? Why is strategy here for my cancer? <clears throat> the temple path. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a temple path here. Meaning, like I said, there's this new path opening for you but you have to make this decision oh my goodness kid you not 12 which runs up to three so your readings have three 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 look it up on google about the meaning but i do know that the number three is about you know the mind body and spirit and it's also about manifestations already becoming true so something that you've been manifesting here that you've maybe scripted into and, and you logged it down in your journal um, you're manifesting here. And so something that you didn't expect, something major, because, right, the garden and the gate, there is just like something much bigger, much broader. You're changing your perspective. You're expanding your consciousness. And for a lot of you, you are definitely super protected by spirit and you're being led somewhere. Like I said, when I saw the two on the journey, it's you and spirit okay look at all these orbs so you're very 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 protected right now and you're being guided to take this journey or this move but i do see somebody here is thinking about you there's a male that you've perhaps close to cycled with and this person is thinking about you even um very very sexually okay this person could like have this kind of body but like I said, didn't I say you felt tied up? Look at her hands again. See? Someone here is feeling tied up. Though they know that there's such a full potential here. There's this abundance. This is you here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see what else. Spirit, what can you tell us for cancer here? What is going on in February for my cancer? What is this thinking man here? If this isn't you who is planning something, then there is this male strategizing how to move to you. Let's see. Spirit, what's going on? Freedom. Oh my goodness. Right? Freedom. And peace on the bottom again you guys need to release this anxiety and go into the vibration of love and release all negative energy in order to uh, accept this abundance in order to receive this abundance but i mean literally we had tied up i think i should just leave this out now and now we have freedom so there's something that you're definitely wanting to break free from okay you're thinking about it you know that you hold the key to free yourself from this. So this could also be just all in your head, you know? Maybe no one is tying you up precisely, but all in your head. You are yourself. It's tra trapping you, okay? And blocking your peace. But what is this, spirit? What is this all tied up in freedom? Failure? 
Maybe you've been planning something with the strategy card there. And um, things have failed with all the tries that you've been giving. It says, I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. Hmm. Failure. Freedom. Let's get more cards. Spirit, why is my cancer feeling all side up? Who is feeling all side up? All right, we have fear and abundance. So you have abundance twice. So that's confirmation that definitely there is abundance coming into your life for February as a side note. Okay, Cancer, if you were worried about your finances or your money, excuse me, you're going to be going into a more stable, right, <clears throat> position in life. A lot of success, a lot of abundance. But again, there is something here that is blocking this abundance from coming through so easily. As you could see, it's right in like right next to the abundance card. So <clears throat> maybe you have some lack mentality of uh, of money, you know, some fear of losing money, of investing in something or in someone. But definitely, um, I am seeing that there is some fear here to be stuck and not be able to have this freedom. But Spirit is saying, Cancer, do not worry, okay? We are working on your abundance here so you can free yourself. And that is where this freedom is coming. The freedom to with this blue to, to, to speak your truth, okay? To express yourself. What else, Spirit, can you tell us about this fear and this tied up? We have courage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting if you are going to make a mistake, if you leave someone or if you leave this home or if you make something. Stop doing that. Plan accordingly. Yes. Okay. Be smart about your moves. Right? Just like a game of chess pieces. But your freedom, all right? Your freedom is your abundance. So once you free yourself, everything, all blockages are going to be removed. But you need a root. There's so much like fear and failure, okay? Negative energy around your mind state. You need to be in this harmony, okay, of abundance and courage, taking that leap of faith, okay? Now let's see what else Spirit can tell us. Spirit, who is feeling this fear and failure here? Who is feeling this fear? Oh, wow. Fear came up again. There's a lot of fear here, guys. Growth. Yeah, there's a fear to expand your consciousness to to really leave the uh, comfort zone and try something completely new. And I feel like someone is also a in fear here of your growth. And I feel like you've maybe felt like a failure for a lot of times in your life and you've wanted to free yourself from all this toxicity that's around you. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. Cancer... There's so much fear and toxicity around you. The universe is asking you to surrender this and be courageous and free yourself from these people, okay? And go into your path because you're very, very spiritual. You're very spiritual and you're very connected to your spirits, okay? So you are going to go on a journey where it's going to be you and your freedom and the power for you to create your own happiness and whatever fear this is that is surrounding you whether this is your mental space or whether this is a someone actually who brings you this fears or insecurities and it's interesting that this fear has cage here all right and obviously to free yourself is a depiction of a cage right you're in a cage and you free yourself from something so there was a lot of darkness here all these black clouds. There's so much envy and darkness around you. And you want to free yourself from this. You want to be happy. You're 
tired of people telling you that you're a failure or, you know, for any little mistake that you make, they point it out rather than point out on the things that, that you are doing, that you are growing in, you know, when you are excelling, they rather point out your flaws. And, I, and if this isn't someone that does this to you, then you do this to yourself, Cancer. Okay? I find the inner strength to fear to face fear with confidence. So you need to face this fear here with confidence. Why is Cancer in this fear? What are they fearing, spirit? What is this fear that they need to defeat? You need to defeat this fear. It's blocking your abundance because you're very abundant. Your abundance is coming whether there's this fear or not. Okay, but if you notice, it's like you're surrounded by this golden white light, but yet you tell yourself all this scary stuff surrounding yourself here. Okay, now I'm getting another message too. Hold on, give me one second. You're creating something that's going to be very, very abundant. We have the number three again, okay? 39 rents up to three in numerology. You're a very creative person. Again, the universe is with you. There's a blueprint here. You already know this. Again, with the strategy. Wow. Spirit could not be more clear. There's something that you're planning here. You're creating. You already know the details of it already, okay? You've already strategized whatever this is. Whether this is a project, work, relationship, Take it how it resonates. But you have created something to the detail, to the T. It's blueprint, right? Maybe this is, could just be even like your purpose, your gifts, whatever it is. You're creating something that needs, that requires you to close some cycles with friends that keep you in this fear, okay? Low vibrational energy because where you're headed right now is somewhere completely new. You're headed somewhere where is an unknown, somewhere you've never traveled, somewhere you've never been. And yes, of course, there's going to be fear. There's always going to be fear involved, but that is part of the test. You need to face fear with love and do that that you love, okay? Whatever it is that you create that you love doing, continue doing it. Because this is going to bring you a lot of abundance. And you're manifesting this, which is why you're seeing 333 a lot. And 555, because big changes are coming to your life. You're growing. And something here is happening in divine timing. Tick, 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 tock, okay? It's happening with this egg. It's ready to hatch very soon. And whatever this is, you know, you've taken, like, very good care of it, okay? You've taken very good care of it. And now it has become a part of you. Whatever you have created, you have nurtured so much. It has become a part of you and it has helped you grow. Whatever this talent is, this gift is, it has helped you grow. But here with this discernment card, this card is always speaking to me about, again, you know, you feeling so... Uh, clouded by certain judgments that people have made upon you, okay? We have 10 and 11. So you could be seeing 11, 11, 10, 11, 10, 11, 11, 10 a lot. But with the sermon, this always speaks about you need to use your discernment around other people, okay, who try to take from your energy. And I feel like there has been someone in behind the scenes who has been manipulating you, Making you feel this low vibrational energy. I mean, she's literally like a puppet manipulating you and causing you to fear when in reality what you're creating is abundant. So, and you're going to grow from this and this is your path. This is your purpose, whatever is it that you're doing. Okay. You need to remain strong because to, to have courage, you need to have a lot of strength and you have it inside of you. But someone here or something in your life is making you feel like a failure. Like if you take this leap of faith at something that you're creating or that you want to take action towards, you're going to fail. While you know intuitively in your mind 
that you make your own happiness and you want to free yourself from something that's completely holding you back from being your authentic self. Yeah. It's like you want to transform, but something or someone is freaking holding you back. Who is holding back my cancer here? What is tying them up besides this fear? What is tying them up? Spirit, is it someone that's tying them up here? Why are they feeling so caged? We have the void. There has been a lot of depression uh, in you guys' life. A lot of darkness in your life. You've dealt with a lot of darkness surrounding you. Okay? You've, you you've have a lot of trust issues here. <clears throat> You're afraid to take leaps of faith because... You just don't trust people, okay? You've been in this moment of the dark night of the soul. You've retreated. I feel like when you get this burst of creativity, someone says something to you, and like, you know, that brings you immediate fear and depression, and you're just like back into your bed. You're just like, ugh, I'm just gonna go back to bed or whatever. I don't care anymore. Even though you know that that this, whatever it is that you do, will free you. And I'm also seeing one, one, one here. So there is a new beginning for you. But you're not releasing something. What is tying cancer up, spirit? What is this fear? What is this void? There's this emptiness. Focus. Yeah, you're focusing on something or someone too much. But look at these two cards when it come out. As I said, a new beginning is coming. With two, again, it's you and spirit. Again, all this green speaks of abundance. A new door is opening here for you. A new beginning, okay? You just have to be patient. Soon you will be free with whatever situation you're dealing with that has you stuck and has all this negative energy surrounding you. Just be hopeful, all right? That there will be this new beginning for you that is unfolding and is sent to you by spirit. Focus on yourself right now and your healing and your transformation. Listen to your intuition with all this water. Again, this is you. This is this is that cancer energy. These two cards to me keep calling out to me. Let me see what else you could tell me. Okay. Clarify fear and void. Clarify fear and void for cancer. Clarify fear and void for cancer spirit. I fear and void. Okay, so just one card. We have surrender. You need to surrender something because it's blocking your blessing. You're manifesting a lot of abundance here. All right. There's a masculine here from the past that's looking at you. You need to surrender. <clears throat> Let me get into tarot real quick. To see what's going on. It's my cancer. Okay. Now, there is a new beginning here that is very abundant and it's going to allow you to grow from this character that you used to be. Okay? This character of you that was always in fear, afraid to take courage, afraid to fail. Okay? Wow, this just popped up. Leo, the sun card. The sun is coming up. Some truth is going to be revealed here. But you're going to be shining in the month of February. And that's the card of happiness. That's the most positive card on tarot. So just be patient, Cancer, okay? Because look at all these freaking like dark clouds, right? And darkness. And now the sun is coming out, which reminds me of the rainbow. So it's like... Just be patient. It's almost your time. It's almost your time. All this is happening because you need to focus on yourself. It's teaching you to focus on you, on your change only, on your healing, okay? And and to listen to your intuition. Spirit, what's going on with cancer here? Why, why are they in fear? Or who is in this fear energy here? Yeah, somebody here is watching you, trying to gain information, they want to collaborate with you. Spirit, what is this fear here? Oof, 
This person could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see a lot of air sign. This is the Cancer. This is the, you know, the Moon card. So there is fear. The Moon speaks about fear. Another card about uh, fear, secrets, things that are being hidden. Okay, so somebody here is watching you. I feel like somebody is very much in fear of something that you're creating. Also, I'm hearing. Let me just see. Spirit, who is in fear here? What is this moon? Clarify the moon. Hold on. Why is the moon here for my cancer? Spirit, why is the moon here? Two more cards. Why is the moon here? What is this secret? Heartbreak. Ten of Cups, which I was feeling. I said the rainbow. You heard me. I said the rainbow's coming out right after that darkness. And look how this came out. Which is another representation like this one, if you look. All these dark clouds, right? All this darkness, this fear, this lack. And now the sun, all this abundance, success. Vitality. There's life suddenly again. There's spirit. There's courage. There's that Leo energy. Then we have three of swords. And the Ten of Cups. So after this broken heart, okay, you're getting this happiness. You're freeing yourself from this broken heart. And that's why we have the card of freedom. And I feel like you're afraid to even free yourself from this and choose your own happiness. Because you've never done that before. But someone here is rushing towards you. They want to give you some sort of information. But let's find out why this Three of Swords is here. Um, with the Three of Swords and the Moon card, I am also definitely seeing that there was some, like I said, secrets, okay? A hidden relationship that you didn't know about um, in your love life. And it came to light, okay? That truth came to light, like I said. You found out that this person was with someone else. Why is the... Three of Swords here, Spirit. Clarify the Three of Swords for my Cancer. Why is the Three of Swords here for my Cancerians? Why is the Three of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Another Leo life card here. The Devil. Why is the Three of Swords here? Oof. Okay. So... Definitely, Cancer, I'm seeing that this is your energy here, right? <clears throat> You're this very, very beautiful woman or man, right? You're very creative, like I said earlier. You're taking courage towards something that you're creating, right? That is very connected to your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. And you're very confident. You're very, very confident. You're very beautiful. A lot of people have crushes on you. A lot of people, you know, um, want to date you. That's the kind of person that you are. However, there was this third party situation in your love life. Somebody here betrayed you and broke your heart. And maybe for some of you, this even made you insecure. Okay? It made your heart feel trapped. And I feel like it's your heart that you're freeing. Because if you notice, look how trapped this heart is. Stabbed. Right? And suddenly there's this freedom that you're going to set yourself free from. And because there was this toxic energy around you. This person who probably has some sort of sex addiction. Right? Or somebody here who was married to someone else. Cheated on their wife with you. And you had no idea about this. And for others of you, vice versa. You were married to this person and they cheated with you with a Capricorn or a Taurus here. Or like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody really with some dark energy here. Somebody has some real dark energy here, okay? And Spirit is giving them their karma. Spirit saw through their soul, okay? Spirit saw them. If you notice, look at all this dark cloud again and the sun is coming out. So you're getting justice. That's why you're getting this Ten of Cups. 
You're getting this abundance. You're getting your happiness now because of this person, whoever this is, who broke your heart here. And I feel also the Hierophant is here because you focused on your spiritual, like I said, your temple path, right? Your spiritual path. You started to focus on you and your healing and your spirituality. Spirit, what else can you tell me about this devil energy here? Why is the devil here? One second. Okay, we have the six pentacles. This is somebody who definitely um, you were giving a lot to. This is somebody who you've even given money to, okay, or you lend money to. You gave this person a lot and they didn't reciprocate that energy. Why is the Hierophant here? Temperance, Sagittarius card. Something is definitely coming into balance though. And this is the card of patience again. So I feel like definitely something is unfolding for you here, Cancer. And it requires a bit more patience. Because remember, healing is all about patience, right? Maybe it's for some of you, you fear if you'll ever like heal from this broken heart. Spirit is saying yes. But this person is watching you. All right, this person is freaking watching you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? And like I said, this is your energy. You could have kids, because I'm seeing kids here, but you don't have to. But this is, again, uh, uh, the card of abundance. You're on your throne. You're in your power. And you're very caring, you know? Like, you're very nurturing now, a lot of people. You're always very giving, Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Also, the, the Devil card speaks of obsession. So this person is definitely obsessing over you and like watching you. You guys are working on something on the low, keeping it to yourselves. There's a new passionate beginning coming towards you in love, okay? The lovers. Somebody here feels a de very deep connection with you. This person could be a Pisces, okay? But somebody is definitely here feeling very passionate about you. This could be a person that you work with, okay? And this is you. You're this high priestess. You, whatever this, your intuition has been telling you that something is going on or something was going on here. Spirit, what did this person do to my cancer? Why, why have my cancer broken hearted? What is this broken hearted? Who broke their heart? Why? What happened? Who broke their heart? We have patience. Again. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of anxiety or a need to rush. And you guys just need to have patience. Like, everything will unfold within time. Fertility, whatever is it that you guys are creating, you know, spirit is saying, yeah, because you're creating something here that you're very creative in and you're very passionate about. Okay, you're bursting with creativity. You're creating something with the number three. See that very abundant here. And yeah, you look at that. You planted a seed for some of you. You've, you know, you had a one night stand and you're scared that you're pregnant. I'm hearing well, that's for a very small amount of you. Spirit is saying, be patient in what you're creating, okay? And what you're manifesting. Because that is how, like, like abundant things grow, right? Like, for instance, a tree, you plant a seed, it's not going to be a full tree tomorrow. But you bet that, you know, no matter how long it takes, it's going to be a very abundant um, thing for you guys. And I keep seeing the card of success wanting to flip which goes with this abundance. I kept saying earlier, you know, whatever you're planning and strategizing, it's going to be successful. Somebody here has retreated, feeling emotionally withdrawn. Decided to heal. Some truth came to the light, okay? And now somebody is just waiting. Somebody is just waiting for some answers I'm keep hearing. Spirit, what is this? 
that my cancers are creating? What is this passion and fertility? What are they creating? What is it that they're creating? Manifesting, commitment, and home. Did I not say in the beginning of the reading you guys were moving somewhere? So a lot of you are moving to a new home, okay? You're you're working on your foundation, okay? Something that is really going to um, be very, very stable. You're working on your stability. There is a commitment coming towards you, okay, that you're manifesting here. Let's look into that. Spirit, what is this commitment that my cancers are manifesting? Justice, we got Libra and blessings. Yeah, like I said, you're getting justice for that heartbreak. And all that fear that people brought into your life. Spirit is now blessing you with a home. All right, you're manifesting a lot of powerful things here. A lot, a lot of blessings. A lot of new beginnings. What else can you tell us for Cancer Spirit? What is this justice? Happiness and friendship. Yeah. Again, you know, you're going to give yourself that freedom to be happy. Do choose yourself and to allow yourself the freedom to hang out with friends. I feel like a lot of you felt tied up, like you couldn't hang out. You couldn't go outside. You couldn't, you know, really connect with your soul and feel that fire that's inside. You didn't have any privacy. There was so much toxic energy around you when you are this bright sun and it just wasn't making sense. And spirit with divine timing, something is happening with divine timing here. Your angels are with you, okay? Because you're very, very spiritual. Um, you could be seeing two, two, two a lot. But whatever it is that you're growing, it's going to manifest, okay, within this divine timing. Spirit, what is this commitment here? Why is commitment here? Oof. Somebody here is going to definitely, look at this. Somebody here wants a commitment, but they're in conflict about it. Again, two, two, two. Wow, someone is in fear here. What is this commitment? Remember earlier at the beginning of the thing, I said you guys had a choice to make. You've been contemplating a choice. Yeah. Who is in conflict here, Spirit? Who is in conflict here? Who is in conflict here? Who is feeling this conflict, overthinking and overthinking, victory and success? It's you. It's you who has been in this mental conflict, like I said, doubting and fear whether things are going to work out for you or not. But you're getting victory and success again. You're getting recognition in something that you're doing. You're getting your... Look at this. You have triumphs. Okay, and victory and success. What more could I say? Clarify, what is this choice that Cancer needs to make? What is this choice about spirit? Oof. Choice? Choice? Nah, uh, uh The universe is like, listen, I'm going to give you many options, many doors, but know that destiny is going to really choose for you. chakra you've really been connecting with your spirit and activating your chakra okay spirit what could you tell us yeah there's this masculine energy here i feel like this is also you right like you're definitely bossed up and um you've become your own authority right you've worked on your own business you've been strategizing you only want nothing but the truth you're taking this new leap of faith at things you have a brand new attitude but also there's this divine masculine here who is an Aries, could be, and is watching you. And this person is definitely feels like you're part of their destiny and they want a commitment with you. Who is this person, spirit, that wants this commitment with my cancer? Yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you. And again, four and four. So they definitely want a foundation with you. They want to settle down, have a home with you. Okay, and look. There's been a lot of obstacles in this connection. And this is why they want to literally take this new leap of faith with you. Spirit, what is, who is this divine masculine here? Let me use another deck. Go back to tarot. Spirit, clarify the authority. Why is the authority card here? 
Why is the authority card here? Why is the emperor here? And it's funny because we have the emperor and the empress. See that? So there is a divine connection here that is destined to happen. Okay, and this could be a definitely a new relationship for a lot of you because it's a new beginning. But this could be somebody um, trying to come back from the past. Somebody who you're not talking to. This person retreated, okay? Yeah, there was like a fight, some sort of conflict or jealousy competition going on. Spirit King, what can you tell me about this love right here between the Empress and the Emperor? And the Cancers? It's literally I just said that yeah twin flame the lovers def oh again the emperor came out and the ten of swords yeah this person betrayed you okay this person could have have betrayed you all right and they had to make a choice or you have to make a choice between two people but they, like I said they betrayed you with somebody else here and but now they see that you are the divine feminine okay now they want to be your emperor they've um right now feel very possessive about you they feel like you guys are meant to be together you have this soul tie there's a very spiritual connection here that they feel but again there's this ten of swords there's this betrayal here why is the ten of swords here this person could be a gemini oh yeah this person betrayed you because they thought that they had a lot more options okay they thought they had a lot more options so they just made you like any regular option and now they're realizing that you're not just anybody you're the one that the universe made for them their destiny see their destiny their adam to eve they know this now but they made you they made you feel like you were just like anybody else just somebody to sleep with why is the Ten of Swords here? Tell me more, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Mm -mm -mm. Now they want something serious. Now they want some sort of commitment. For others, I'm hearing this person again was in a commitment. They were in a marriage. And they just didn't let you know about it. And there was some cheating going on. But look at this. Two of Cups and the Lovers. There's a very soulmate-like twin flame connection here, okay? And they know this. You feel it and they know it too. There's a lot of passion in this relationship. It cannot be denied. The Ace of Wands came up here clarified by so many different cards. All right? And you're both manifesting each other. You're both trying to manifest each other because you know that you're each other's happiness. Okay? And someone here is trying to grow the balls, the courage... You know, they just kind of like, they're contemplating how to come towards you and tell you this truth that's going to set them free or this truth that they already told you. Okay, but there is definitely a divine connection here. This is somebody that you're definitely in a relationship with or was in a relationship with. And now they're ready to just fight for this connection. What else, Spirit? Yeah, you closed out a cycle. Definitely closed out a cycle. You ended something, spirit. Tell me more about this lovers and two of cups. Why is the lovers and two of cups here? What else can you tell me about that? Yeah, this person felt like they didn't have much to offer you, okay? When they met you, they felt like, you know, like a page. Right? Somebody who can't offer you enough. Like they were just learning. This is a this was a whole new experience for them in love, right? Like I felt like they some of them, they've never been honest and they never been in love. I, um and they didn't have enough to offer you. So they wanted to take things slow. This is somebody who took things slow with you. They wanted to be slow but steady. The king uh the knight of pentacles though does speak about someone who you know, slow and steady wins the race, who is serious about you. So this person is serious about you. They just feel like they don't have the right finances here to give you. And, but they've had a breakthrough. 
They've had a breakthrough where they know now that you are their destiny and you are the one for them. Okay, let me write that down as the title. You are the destiny for them. Okay? And so, yeah, they've had this clarity where they didn't before because there was a lot of fear, okay? Someone here had a lot of fear to fall in love and to create something from a place of love because that's just never been done in this person's life. This person is used to being backstabbed and betrayed. So like I said in the beginning of the reading, there was trust issues. Now, however, this um, divine masculine, okay, this is definitely someone's divine masculine, went from a page to the emperor. So he is in his original energy now and he knows his worth now. He knows his worth and your worth. So he's learned a lot. And he's ready to come towards you and offer you commitment, okay? Offer you a ring. They want to marry you. What else can you tell us about this connection, Spirit? Mm. But again, that seven of swords, I feel like you guys don't trust this person. There's been some deceit, some sneaky energy here. And for others of you, I'm hearing this could have been a relationship that was kept on the low clarify the seven of swords yeah um this person definitely hasn't told you how they felt that this is what this could also mean because with the ten of pentacles <clears throat> wait let me clarify the ten of pentacles real quick yeah okay we also have Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of Gemini, a lot of Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, so for some of you, this person was taking money from you, okay? And like I said, this person had a family and they didn't tell you about it, okay? There's something here. Somebody was sneaking around and not telling somebody that they had a family, and for others of you, this could also mean that this person didn't tell you how they felt about you and that they wanted this family with you, that they wanted it all with you. They wanted the whole legacy. You are the one for them. Okay, they're trying to, again, the card of manifestation. And we have we already have the card of manifestation here. So they're trying to manifest you back. All right. And they want to come up, they want to come with the truth now. They want to give you this honesty and this clarity that you have been seeking. Okay? They're ready to speak their truth. They've had a breakthrough. And for some of you, this person definitely is younger than you or is just coming back with an apology because they were just acting very immature. Let's see. What else we have here, Spirit? What else can you tell us? my cancers here and this connection what is this person's actions your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn that's where that abundance is coming from you guys have been working very hard and also i feel like you put a lot of energy in this connection luck is on your side beautiful just know that luck is on your side with whatever you're manifesting whether it's love or a career all right for a lot of you commitment is coming and this commitment doesn't have to be let's say a marriage or something it could just be involving like let's say you just wanted this to be a career reading then you know like you're going into some partnership here and you guys just will get along very good and work very good together what else there do you have for cancer what else we tell cancer for february okay we have don't let the past hold you back cancer that's the fear. That's that fear. Wow. Yeah. That was the beginning of that reading. It's like, don't let fear get in the way of the past. Why was fear here, Spirit? Why is this fear here? A fiery climax approaches. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to <laughs> have sex with you. And they're ready to give you that fire. I guess I'm also seeing this for Valentine's. Valentine's Day, somebody here might just propose to you. I just heard. 
Hold your vision and don't let pride get in the way. You could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Hold your vision in whatever, in whatever you're creating. Whatever you're trying to manifest, it's coming, okay? Whatever you're manifesting is coming. Hold your vision. A, a fiery climax approaches. Again, Aries energy. That's the emperor. This emperor is ready now to offer this passion. Do not let past hold you back. I'm going to clarify that one. Spirit clarified. Don't let the past hold you back from my cancer. What is this fear that's holding them back? Fear of what? Hmm. Fear of commitment. Fear that your foundation and achievements will not be, will not succeed, will not work. Like I said in the beginning. All that lack mentality, fear that you won't have enough money to have your home, have your ten of cups, have your happiness. Fear that maybe nobody will love you or, again, the commitment issue. Just let all that go. Let all that go. Okay, you could be seeing 444 a lot. That's your angels telling you, like, you are protected. Let that go. What else, spirit? What is holding them back here? What is holding cancer back? But for others of you, I'm also hearing, yeah, don't let your family hold you back either. Because this four also speaks about family, right? So it's like, if somebody here, a family member or someone in your family has made you feel like you can't do something and they've placed fear upon you and they told you that you will fail, don't let that, like, don't let that hold you back. Follow your north node, follow your calling, Okay. Yeah, because I feel like you grew up with a lot of fear and negativity and people having like lack mentality and you're the type to dream very, very big and abundant and you want like all this beautiful happiness and success and people are looking at you like, girl, you're dreaming too, but you're dreaming too big. You need to relax. But look at this positive movement forward. OK, this is what's happening in February. You're taking positive movement forward. You're moving. Remember the beginning of the reading? I said you're moving somewhere. Like here, you're moving somewhere. Whether this is mental or this is physical, you're moving towards the sun, okay? You're leaving this fear, this chaos. It's fucking leaving. That low frequency, that lack mentality, all that is leaving. Look at this trapped in fear is gone. Is gone. That mental conflict is gone. You feeling caged is gone. Spirit is freeing you now. You're moving into a more positive place. You're being freed. What are you being freed from? Spirit, what are they being freed from? Intuition and financial material changes. Told you, this is the lack card. Yeah. You're going to finally be able to release that lack mentality. And you're going to follow your intuition and know that it's you and spirit. Okay, you're going to notice that this brand new door is opening for you. Okay, you're creating something with this ink. And you're leaving behind this lack of there's not enough or I won't do it. I can't succeed. You're not going to be trapped in fear. And for others here, I'm seeing that you followed your intuition about this person. All right, because they kept you trapped and they didn't let you sleep. You were always worried if they're going to be out there like that. And you're just like, no, I'm going to follow my intuition now. And I'm going to give myself something better. And I'm hearing solitude. A lot of you are going solo out here. You're following your heart. You're following your, your thing. And look at where this journey is going to take you here. Harmony, okay? There's going to be balance restored in this relationship that I kept seeing here. This twin flame soulmate connection. All right. In February, you guys are going to be in harmony. So something really beautiful is happening. Maybe for Valentine's or something like that. Because it speaks about this heart awakening. If you see this green. This divine masculine already now has awakened his love for you. And he knows that he loves you. And he knows that you're the one for them. And they want to be with you. So let me give you an advice. What is their advice for cancer spirit? What is the advice about this relationship? What is their advice in this relationship here? This harmonious relationship? Yeah, if there was conflict in the relationship or issues, jealousy, competition, you're going to be feeling more um, aligned. And, and I'm seeing like love confessions. Okay, I'm hearing love confessions. 
go outside. This person might take you out on a date, okay? Somewhere where there's music. What is their advice, Spirit? Your advice is to also go outside and ground yourself to release that, like, anxiety and fear that you were feeling earlier. All right? Maybe play some um, frequency music on YouTube. But you have a lot of wisdom, okay? So you have to trust that intuition from your guides. Spirit, what else is the advice for Cancer about this connection? Too many cards. What is their advice for this connection? What is the advice? Flourish. Alright? Just focus on your self-love. On giving yourself love. And healing. It says, the lotus flower tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or others. So something that was unclear, right? You're going to get clarity on that. Something's coming to light, okay? And you are going on a journey for some of you out there. A journey of truth. Now, if this message resonated, of course, um, comment down below. Share your story. Let me know what resonated. Um... If you're new to my channel, don't forget to press subscribe, okay? I do a lot of this horoscope reading, pick a card readings, and a whole bunch of anything that has to do with this spirituality consciousness thing, <laughs> okay? So thank you very much, Cancer. Um, I hope you have a great one and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.